Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Wednesday evening and this evening we are talking transportation. Um, mainly because I read a report today that said the Tony Blair Institute here in the UK is suggesting that instead of using fuel duty, that the government change it to taxing per mile for vehicles. So the suspicion at the moment is that in the budget, the fuel tax duty, whatever thing it is, that they've frozen for the past while, be stopped and, and it will get put back on the price of fuel and that it might even increase because they're losing a lot of money in that. It was worth something like 25 billion to the treasury, but as electric vehicles come in, there's not as, obviously they don't pay the fuel tax. So the thought is, well, everyone's going to have electric soon, possibly. Um, so we need another way to bring income in. And the Tony Blair Institute is suggesting that cars pay one pence per mile and lorries and HGV pay anywhere between 2.5 pence per mile to 4 pence per mile. And I'm like, what's going on here? And my whole brain just sort of exploded with the, okay, so from where I live, I'm 10 miles to the nearest supermarket. Now, I know that a lot of smaller communities are like, oh, we've got the little town bus, etc. We have one along the road. Um, but that takes you to the small local supermarket where the cost is prohibitive a lot of the time and they don't always have what you want. So you have to travel further to the main supermarket. And I thought, oh, how delightful that might be because then people might want to start calling more for your 15 minute cities, your 15 minute villages, um, where everything's within 15 minutes because it's going to cost them so much to drive however many miles. So people in rural areas are going to have to pay an awful lot more than people in cities. So it seems to be a tad unfair to me, but you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but it just, it just made my head think of you know, there's so many people just now who are using smaller shops, local shops, and they have to charge more because they, they don't have the bulk discounts. And that's fine, but for a large shop, or if you're trying to save money, you need to go to a discount supermarket or a supermarket, something like that, cash and carry even. And most of them are in the big towns. Now, I know for Perth, certainly, because obviously that's my closest big town, there are so many feeder towns. And I think Creef is now, because it's grown so much, it now has a B&M and an Aldi. Um, but there's other local towns where the local shopkeepers are like, no, we want to keep it as individual shops, independent shops with just like a couple of small grocery stores, more like. And for many, that's not going to work. Not if you start getting charged, because, I mean, let's be honest, one pence a mile, how long do we think it's going to stay at one pence a mile? I certainly don't think it's going to stay at that for very long. So it just seems to be the thin edge of, yeah, the thin edge of the wedge for me. Because I, I just don't see it stopping. And as I say, as, as soon as I had sort of read that and went, so people are going to want to drive less, which means the 15-minute cities are going to be starting to get pushed. But also, apart from anything else, how do they know how many miles you've done? Hmm? Is that a, when you get your MOT, it's a yearly bill? Or are you going to have to have a tracker in your car? How do they know how many miles you've done? And I don't like that thought. I know a lot of the cars have it. You know, a lot of the cars are computerised and everything. Um, but I still have a car that's old enough that it's not, it's not Wi-Fi'd. 
doesn't have those connections. And I'm quite happy with that. Yes, I have I have tracking on my phone, etc., which I can switch off when I want, which is most of the time. Um, normally, it's just if I'm out for the day, just so that Kathleen can make sure I'm home safe. You know, that's me on my way home, tracker on. So that if there's a delay, she can check where I am. Um, you know, there, there's questions like that. I think this is, this is definitely the start of something that could become so much bigger. So, yeah, I just thought I'd come and tell you that the, the think tank is saying start taxing the mileage on cars. And I think that opens everything up to a whole lot of stuff. Let me know what you think. Catch you later.